ยอจงกอดลิงสุดเลยยอจงอีจงเจนเชเรตซุนซุตูยอจงเชจัยตอเนลอกงเอชแคมทีวียอจงนู่นนอนู่นนอนจึงออลเลยยอเจ้าเ
Um, Because it's not just about like relaying information for visual appeal. Um, it's an it's it's an engaging means of interaction. Um, it's a tool that helps us facilitate communication within departments and to the people of our church. Uh, but I think the key aspect of multimedia is that when it's used properly, it really does open up many possibilities that can support the ministries of any local church. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> besides Liwa and Highlight, yeah, I think um, we can reach pretty far in terms of our uh, uh, live stream here, the video, the video whether it be live streaming or uh, presentations in the church, especially Tokgo, I am more interested in uh, the message across uh, the, you know, the social media platforms and into the, the hands, the handphones of people who are in Vietnam, in Laos. Pay, pay the main audience, the, the main audience that consumes our products, uh, watch our um, services are in the United States, okay? The, the, the biggest audience is uh, Vietnam, and then actually the third, believe it or not, the third is Laos. Okay, and then um, Thailand and France. Unfortunately, China YouTube pass through. China I believe that, wow, man, the day, if the day comes when, that, when China open. That I'm not that that's a huge audience right there. That's my anyways. Yeah, we bought the car. Pay or video to social media. There the whole church. There the media. Not the some may see it, but some may not see it. But we bought the. How many? How many? Change. Change. No matter. Yeah, how we pay. Reach out to pay to the whole pay to congregation. There pay the church members. There. How change? Change. Change. Then they move. They move beyond the four walls of our church, and that's that's the whole point. And so that's another way of reaching out with the gospel of Jesus Christ to Hmong people. You know, you throw it out there. You remember Benjo Su Tau U Pepe F E B C Radio A Su Vatsong Li Nu Nu Wanda Naya Nu Effective Bolita J Tashina Pe Watch and Nu Ying Simulate Lunat here. You know, the, that's a really, really powerful uh, tool that can reach people far, far away here. ตุนเนเนมอแมนจินเอ่อเอ่อตุเปจอยเปชิตานะเทตุนเนจอยวอชเนจอตาตาชายเปตาชินอนะยอเนมอสาเตโรเตเตเปวานะเจเนปอเต
ilu weekend le ilu sunday tu pe joseph le khokhien nya do be penjeng je de jo han ke to zo li jong ke li plao chi po leng ya to i penjeng tu to je penjeng lo te penjeng me ne je ku ya ya yo po leng te te jo je ku jo leng de shi tho pe pe shi multimedia technology na la mo pa pe kho ministry na ma chai to de tho ko khe ta no Sunday and the Chi Jo or To Jo Hotili No Tili Tao Zai Ko message no suit shima Johnny Shan Jona Maj Jo Charlie Johnny Toto Pippin Jane Tell Yo Ya Pay Mo Shine Ma How To Pip Lang Sud she Jo Tin Nya Shan Dow Yo to No Ne to Sifu Kwok here no ma Jen Zoli Ope Pa the to Jen Zoli go to pa uh uh views like a little uh little shine and though so new new amplify because reach beyond the walls of the church list i'm more high than the uh top is shy to the actually knowledge uh better report that they are not changing here so uh over to joe don't need to get or negotiate that they are really not here uh speaking in terms of uh communications not your people out there live streaming the content is going to be on YouTube and Facebook. It's going to be on the same way. It's going to be on the same way. It's going to be on graphic design. It's going to be on the design. It's going to be on the website. It's going to be on the design. It's going to be on the weekly announcements. It's going to be on the manage. It's going to be on YouTube and Facebook page. It's going to be on the same way. Uh, in my church, we do have someone in charge of that. Okay. Um, in the website, uh, we have a volunteer member who is our webmaster. And God bless his heart. He always update the website every weekly. Very, uh, all, uh, every week, he always update them. Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of the Facebook and uh, the YouTube uh, page, uh, that responsibility falls under me. Uh, in the future, when the church grows, we do want to have someone in charge of the uh, social media side so that they can handle the uh, uh, the interaction that's happening on that end. In terms of uh, the announcements, the graphic designs, uh, we do have a couple of volunteer members in media that are also in charge of that too. But uh, we design it, our workflow, so then that way that uh, if it comes from the church, the uh, leaders of the church as a whole, then our volunteers will be in charge of those uh, uh, designing. Uh, but if it's coming from a ministry, then they are in charge of uh, uh, the uh, bringing in that design. They have the information, they have uh, their target audience, so they know exactly what kind of de uh, design would help to uh, uh, communicate to that target audience. And so uh, everyone has their uh, uh, own... Uh, uh, ideas and so we uh, uh, accumulate them and uh, process them and uh, distribute them accordingly to the proper channels. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so for us, uh, we are active in all three um, three of those platforms: uh, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we are even on Instagram. So Instagram is where we get the most active engagement, and mm -hmm. our second would be our Facebook. Um, so we post a lot of our announcements and video content on both of those platforms. Our website um, entails just general information about our church, our history, location, contact information. Uh, we don't go live on YouTube, uh, so just our Facebook, but YouTube is a place where uh, you'll, you'll find our Sunday worship set and sermons. Um, our worship pastor is the lead in managing all of these platforms. Uh, mm -hmm. He uh, gets additional assistance from our office administrator uh, and also our creative team uh, and then just like brother uh, um, uh, a lot of our slides and announcements uh, when it comes we, we use Canva uh, but uh, most of our committees they have their own media coordinator 
So a lot of the work is actually being done by them before it even gets to our worship pastor. So it's super awesome that this is something not just one person can do or is good at, but uh, just about everyone can learn and take on to, uh, yeah, to take on and also balance out the workload of the ministry. Yeah, mainly, uh, similarly, uh, <coughs> they are Actually, uh, mostly, uh, you have to make to maintain. So, it, uh, I volunteered for like 10 years and volunteer works in a job. They need to be consistent. Uh. As far as Bailu Church, the Bailu Church, a lot of volunteers, so they need to be consistent. You're quite a serial idea. Okay, if you guys want this done right, uh, they, uh, you guys have to either hire somebody or pay me. Uh, we're being honest, Kelia. We're being there. Okay, I volunteer for you guys for these, these 10 years. That's your know, volunteers. Yeah, I come in on Sunday. I make sure the live stream works. Make sure all the cameras and everything works. That's it. We're done. We go home. That's it. The uh, uh, website, the model to maintain, the graphic design, then the departments. Like, let me tell you, the tour, no, 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 uh, last year, they quite a civil idea. Two thousand twenty-one, quite a. At that time, civil quite a more idea. Okay, you know what? I want to be able to do more than this. I need not rely on volunteer. Go volunteer. They pay your volunteer. Like, do what they talk to. Like, more share. Like, more what's up? Go more share. Like, go more talk. Balance. Say, go more share. Like, go show. Talk around. Sunday, make sure go work. Say, I learn that. Like, talk learn that. Say, so. Go just suggest to like that. You know, uh, what you think blast pay like that. Nature willing to blast. Just like that. จอกูหายตัวเป๊ะจอเอเนี่ยจอนเจงเตจอซื้อฟื้อออนเนี่ยใช้หนอเตน่ะเนี่ยเตจอเอ่อเนี่ยเนี่ยจิปอเตคอน
five P2Z cameras that we have, just get the uh, shots uh, and then uh, um, cut in between them. So that uh, has been uh, made things really efficient for our Sunday service. For our midweek, uh, we only need three people because it's uh, such an intimate atmosphere and more focused on the prayer side. Uh, the three people just makes a lot more sense. Um, and so uh, uh, if we need to expand on our uh, production, then uh, our goal is uh, to have more people on the camera side just to take uh, uh, other shots and uh, need another person at the back of the house to uh, uh, take care of the audio side. Yeah, so for uh, Shaq here, we um, have a four camera setup and both are English and Hmong worship services simultaneously. Um, and uh, we all run on a different variety of Canon Vixia camcorders. Mm -hmm. um, but we uh, do have roughly an average about two to three volunteers uh, on a ba um, on a weekly basis. And they all wear a lot of hats. They operate cameras. They do live switches. They monitor live audio and stream. And so uh, it's just, it's not enough, uh, like Brother Kid said, but it is uh, the minimal that we need to run static multi-camera setup. So um, it's tough, but, um, you know, it's doable. So that's what we have here. Um, for English side, um, uh, we average about like one person over there. Um, so they do a lot of running, um, running mm -hmm. down uh, the balcony to adjust cameras, angles, and then running back up to, you know, uh, do all the controls. So, um, yeah, that's uh, it's really tough for us, but, you know, it, it's, it, it, it works. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> uh, Nalape run, we, we do run multi-camera setups as well. We have uh, five, total of five cameras. Um, we get cameras that belong to church, and they, there's three, but I brought, I brought two of my own cameras just, just because I like having uh, multi, multiple camera angles. The reason behind it is because you don't want your audience watching that just, just that same guy, that same face, just like yeah, the the whole entire service. Now yeah, it's gonna be very very boring real quick. So that's why we do a multi camera shoot so that at least every once in a while, base switch, move the audience, move to a wider shot, move to close up. Uh, we go into people, for example, when the pastor reads the Bible, we will go into um a guy or a lady uh, reading her uh, his or her Bible, for example, the, that's the reason. And then especially to worship, now like to different angles. Yeah, to to whom go to down drums, low down keyboard, low then now like to different angles. They pay or multi camera, now they have your volunteers. Now they, we more I do have consistent volunteers that comes in that, to run the the three cameras, three three ca main cameras. Now they we we manned the cameras, meaning that we put a person there so he can you know uh, get the shots that that i want i will make just make calls or they can just get their own shots and then if if good they pay more on that and then there's two shots one one two in the back one just static and then i uh, just that one shot that doesn't change and then there's one inside our our uh control room that we can shoot through the window okay how you control the camera and they have control just switching that they would not yet so running that bit more the way we set up it's pretty simple to run uh, we just run everything into the switcher. We have pro presented. We have a uh, uh, a young man, uh, Max new who well, Max and new run uh, uh, pro presented. Okay, everything comes comes into the switcher, and then uh, I all just a matter of me punching it in into auxiliary and then project it on the screen. Uh, at the same time, like on live stream, like pay pay run, lyrics like this, what project the the chip and that chip the audience ching, ching po, ja, pe, ja, um, la, warm, la, do, doing their thing. So um, it's it's um, uh, once you're used to it, not you don't go pretty easy to run. Yeah? So you pay more. We have a total of about five people running it at one time during during that live stream. I tell you, we that the volunteer camera guys. We will have two just two camera guys running, and then he will just be running around or just run the the center camera where sometimes the passer will be. Moving around or getting different shots of the worship teams, that okay, that guy will be running the cameraman, uh, going back and forth, getting shots in the. So we have about five, you know, volunteer, uh, 
four or five volunteers and then me. Uh, I volunteer most of my, a lot of it, my, volunteer my time. Actually, and they, like, they pay me a little bit to come in on Sunday and run all of that. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we do. And we, have, we do have multiple cameras running at the same time. Uh, getting different shots to Pekka, especially Pekka live stream. Yeah. Yep. So, Jo Holu, Ne Wan, the Nonama does not only involve a lot of planning, a lot of philosophical understanding of the, of the entire production process. You also need to have knowledge of, uh, of the equipments, right? You have to know how to operate the cameras, how, how all the setups uh, uh, works together so that you can have that one signal, video signal and audio signal going into YouTube or, uh, or Facebook. And so, เขาถอยเลยเนาะตัวเจ๊ใช้มาแล้วจะไปปอได้ it involves a lot of technical skills, a lot of uh, uh, planning, uh, and the, the overall understanding of, of the uh, uh, video production process. Uh, smoothly. Uh, continue serving Beijing year after year, even though a lot of these works are behind the scene works and little chip that's it continue serve uh, especially as I more there brother Chris uh, my Jack to King I know that you are probably uh, uh, in and now uh, uh, serving the church uh, as needed. Uh, recently, in the last three years, you might take a more active role, but I know that you've been uh, doing video for quite some time and you've been uh, very active uh, serving the church. So, what is the one thing that keep you uh, uh, or drive you to continue serving the church? Um, besides the... Uh uh, the sense of curiosity, that's pretty much my nature. I enjoy researching, experimenting, and applying uh, different approaches to uh, certain problems that we're experiencing mm -hmm. um, in production or in church in general. Um, I enjoy doing these kind of things and uh, receiving these feedbacks, and that teaches me how to tackle these problems moving forward. Mm -hmm. so, be, uh, and so it's pretty much uh, literally a playground for me. Uh, but besides that, I think the most important thing for me is uh, whether the ministry, the mission of our ministry aligns with the God's mission. And if we all come into one agreement, not just myself, but also the rest of the, the media volunteers, this removes a lot of sense of pride, uh, a lot of uh, sense of ownership, uh, knowing that God's work is more important than any of our own personal feelings. And so that really helps me uh, uh, stay grounded in serving uh, in this type of role uh, year after year. Yeah, so for me, the encouragement um, between team members is very important. Uh, we have a very passionate media lead and worship pastor who does a great job of researching all these kind of equipment that are affordable and excellent in our worship environment. But I do want to take a moment to recognize uh, those who have supported the ministry in our church and have said very encouraging things to our team. Uh, we do get those occasionally, and we are so grateful for those who do acknowledge the sacrifices. But really, none of that is not the focus. I think I can say this speaking on behalf of our entire uh, team in our local church here that if we do it for the people or for the praise then we'll always end up being disappointed but we do it only for the love of the lord and because we want to be obedient to the lord uh, and that's what keeps us going every year uh, we're only human so we'll always we'll always fall short uh, and burn out and whatnot but it's definitely the love and the obedience to the lord that really keeps us going 
Yeah, puli lai ya te ma similar te li brother ka ku han de. I like uh, going up, I always like doing creative stuff. Kun yeah, especially visually. Uh, I, I like to do things uh, creative. I like to get involved in creative stuff, especially in the arts, like, uh, visual storytelling. Or besides doing church stuff, I do quite a lot of stuff, which we can talk about it in another time, another place. But yeah, and so that's that's why go um, lot of church, no, je, what you go po, you tell te ya, li no te na ya, te go from background, no, I before uh, my profession, my real profession, te na je go in work in television. Photojournalism. from that knowledge, na je ku sa cha lo shi da wa chu te 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 nu te na je ku te la la na te chu ta lin da li bo ta ku tu hai la just kind of repeating myself. Ta shi ma ku bo da ka na ya you e ka ministry te na to keep going going all these years. You know, <clears throat> though if I can uh, share a little bit back track a little bit na je uh, my ministry doing this kind of ministry goes back quite quite a long time actually. Besides running to uh, hack na. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but po thau ku cheng mi nhat tu luo mo fifteen sixteen years old pei move luo to Fresno su je thau nai ma su su li su wa zhong li nu ta tao wo F A E B C a je nu tian ni jiao ti jiao preaching sermons na je gu suggest luo pei luo church nhao Fresno a je hey you know what why don't we do a radio program na je jiao jiao church pastor tian jiao bo luo angry je pei tian li mu ti ta tao lu lu K B I F Radio, not all friends, no, not all. Look, KBIF, my originally a Christian radio station. They may tell you what a 30 minute radio program. They say, we were talking in morning, just sermon, tua, sa tua, and they pitch on the more they call program. We do the introduction, we put, we, we, we welcome, and then we play a song, and then we put on his sermons, and then we have an ending, and then we invite people to come to our church. So that's how I started for, for, for a good. Three four years, they thought that they go to move, move to go to a new, to a independent church. Like they thought, go move to a new. Because we want the same thing. We run. I encourage them to do radio programs. The same thing ever since in the in the eighties, Lalia. So that tells you how old I am, I guess. But that's what I do. And then until now, la, go and continue work. Go to go move to. You know, then yeah, go move to a new church. That's what I do. That's what I tell them. Hey, you know, here's what I'm good at. This is what I love. This is what I want to do. Na je. Saya tu church tu kumu hati lah, kau ing always soli nala. Tahun ni nuri nak kumu kula ta hack Mong American Alliance Church lah. Ia yang kau tanya, and so this is important to me because I I um kau pah dah kau naya buat cik kau calling tu kau na. Tanya ya kau sate ya cik buat cik kau calling, buat cik cik mua kau desire kau passion, tanya kau knowledge, tanya kau um ability nato you na je. Tet rantai hau lulu nama um ni Share ke share macam aku kujung ye, tapi macam ni awak tengok face face a lot of frustration. So it takes a certain type of people to be able to handle this kind of job, especially ya ni ni cerita pemu tu nak pokok kau naya. You know how much people people bring stuff to you at the last minute. Like ya, you have to string all the cables to make sure everything works. Sometimes you run only thirty minutes, ten, five, two minutes before. Cause show and start like this is the tall ready here. The more you face so much frustration and a lot of stress, so it takes a certain type of people to be able to run it. And me, I can handle. I don't mind handling those pressures. Keep it cool and then keep it steady and then go run it. That's what I like to do. Here, when they have what you call calling, so that's why I go. Ever since I was a teenager, like Johnny Nui, no, no. So because I see that it's important too. Uh, so Jer, a lot of questions has been asked of our guests here. Uh, what do you think about multimedia uh, productions? Uh, whether I know that you serve at the local church at Grace, you've been doing uh, running uh, 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 media productions over there for Grace. And um, what do you think about the importance of multimedia and what have you done to serve at the local church as well as here at the Mon district? Yeah, I mean, uh, just multimedia in general, you know, just to echo everyone, you know, it's, it's the, the gateway to reach everyone around the world. Um, and I, when I was still at Grace Long Alliance Church, um, you know, just developing the system that they had, um, you know, doing the multi-camera setup. Um, for me, I felt it was important, you know, just to immerse everyone in the experience, immerse all the viewers 
into the experience so that they feel like they're at church too. So um, I felt like that was really important when I was uh, at Grace and also just to, you know, have them, you know, really good audio. I do believe audio is, is king. It's more important than the video quality. Uh, and yeah, and I, I bring the same conviction here at Monk District, uh, you know, uh, to have great audio first and then let's improve our cameras because, you know, you can't hear the message, then there's no point. So, uh, yeah, but multimedia is absolutely vital, uh, especially in this day and age, uh, to reach everyone around the world and uh, to preach the, the gospel to those who want to hear. So. A lot of people on YouTube and Facebook watch a lot of the uh, Salt Light Conference highlight video, Clue highlight video. You are the main guy who's overseeing the, uh, the creative side of, of those conferences. What were your experience uh, going through that process? And, uh, and what do you have to say to people who, who likes to do something like you did? You know, a lot of our focus recently is, you know, to, to improve our, the quality of our live streams. You know, at least, you know, audio first and then our videos. Um, but mainly just, you know, because we want it to be immersive. We want it to be timeless as well. We want people to be able to come back, you know, and relive it or, you know, just to be a part of it, even though it's already done. So uh, that's a big part of it. And, you know, our, um, our highlight videos, you know, we really just want to give people a glimpse of what happened at the conference, you know, especially for like flu. You know, we, wanna, we want the parents to see what the kids are doing and how they're enjoying it and how, um, you know, how, how they're learning. So we feel it's important to, you know, uh, I call it to, to show the vibe, you know, the energy and, uh, you know, all the fun that these kids are having, you know, because uh, conferences are enjoyable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we want to bring that experience, you know, just in a, in a, click, a quick glance uh, for all the uh, parents, uh, friends and, you know, non-believers out there, you know. We want them to see it and be like, hey, I want to be part of that too. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we feel like it's very vital for, you know, being creative um, with, uh, you know, these highlight videos and, you know, again, just uh, giving a glimpse and showing them uh, what's happening at Flu Conference and Saul and the annual conference too. So. Yeah, thank you, Jer. So creative work, video productions, all of these things, like, Simon was saying uh, earlier, sometimes it can be very uh, frustrating. Uh, for example, last minute things that <clears throat> they want, technical issues that happens and you don't know what the issue is. You have to troubleshoot, you have to uh, uh, find a way to resolve the issues. And sometimes it can take, take times and, and all the audiences are turning at you and and look and trying to find out what's going on. And so sometimes it can be uh, 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 frustrating. Um, tell us some of the challenges you face uh, serving in this capacity for the last <clears throat> 10, 15 years, the last uh, two, three years that you have been involved in multimedia ministry at your local church or elsewhere, uh, for example, at an annual conference. Uh, so, uh, uh, Lu or Lu conference or Sunlight conference, some of you guys have been uh, uh, involved in that uh, in the past many years. And so tell us some of the challenges that you guys face. There's a lot, uh, more than a, if I have to write a list, it's probably going to be 10 pages long. One of them is definitely not uh, uh, technical difficulties. We all experience that. And so if we solve those issues, that can be taken care of. So. Uh, that's uh, surprisingly that's not up there. Now my uh, uh, one of my challenge is definitely uh, volunteers finding more volunteers fulfilling some of the positions. Mm. Uh, there are some uh, uh, moments where volunteers ha cannot make it last minute because they're sick, and so we're rushing and trying to find additional volunteers to uh, support that. Otherwise, though, we're uh, pretty much uh, uh, our hands are pretty much tied on that day. So number one is definitely volunteers. The other part is wearing a lot of hats, even though they're not your position. So if I'm the media director, they expect me to be an IT, uh, have knowledge in uh, uh, the networking uh, side of the church. They're expecting me to uh, know a lot of the uh, uh, the uh, information, the announcements that are happening in church as well, and present them uh, 
uh, to uh, uh, to the congregation members. Even if the, uh, the this announcement is from, let's say, the senior adult ministry, uh, then they want uh, me to share that information, even though I do not know their ministry. So uh, a lot of them is uh, wearing those hats, getting those information, and uh, establishing those relationships. Uh, let's say a ministry that needs AV support. So I need to be there to support them. If uh, there is a ministry that needs uh, to solve some sort of issue that's happening uh, at church as well, I need to be there. So the time that I uh, have to be, uh, that I want to use for fellowship with my other brothers and sisters of Christ, I'm expected to be at church instead, uh, not just to prepare for the service, but also to support the other rest of the ministries since we are so uh, big. But on the bright side, though, I am blessed that uh, my singleness does allow me to uh, serve in this sort of capacity, allowing me to be very yeah. flexible. And uh, I know that the Lord provides just enough uh, without allowing me to find another mm -hmm. part-time job to uh, supplement uh, any source of my financial concerns. Um, but I can imagine uh, how difficult it is for other folks. And so this type of job is not an easy job at all. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> at us here in Sacramento, um, uh, it's, there's always challenges in any ministry, uh, but media in general, I think brother Simon mentioned this earlier that it can be very mundane to some, uh, especially live stream. So not too many people hear the call to serve in this field. So occasionally you get a few volunteers who may be interested, but they have very low commitment. So it's very hard to complete any task when you don't have enough hands and feet to help you uh, assist in that. Um, but it's definitely something not easy, but we do hope that God will, you know, um, call more volunteers. But me personally, another challenge uh, being part of the creative team is ideas, um, coming up with creative ideas that are biblically sound but also engaging is very tough for me um uh you know it's 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 more than just doing slideshows you know you you have to do something different uh every time so that's part of the toughest for me is just coming up with um ideas for videos that um you know are are new um and also engaging but also biblical and different each time so uh, those two are the most challenging for us is finding volunteers to do live stream um uh, weekly and also uh, just coming up with creative ideas. Yeah, I think we all face similar challenges. Um, and I was fortunate enough to, to have, as far as uh, the people that run the camera, they're there consistently simply because all that's required of them is to come in uh, every Sunday because they're coming to church anyway, you know. So, uh, uh, from their own experiences, I do have consistent camera guys running the, the three, at least the three cameras. We do have a couple of consistent guys who are coming to church anyway. Um, at, at certain times, uh, again, yeah, it takes certain kind of people who has the passion to do it because it gets boring really quick. That kind of work, you're just there to stand the whole, the whole service. And at the same time, um, you're just there pointing the cameras. They don't get to do anything challenging. Uh, some people drop out after you know a few months because this kind of thing requires, it takes, takes a long-term commitment. Huh? It, you, let's say, I, like I told them, you, you can't just say, oh, Simon, this year you run and the next year you'll, We'll find some guy to run it. These kind of stuff uh, requires a uh, certain amount of skill, certain amount of knowledge. La rana ya ni especially siu jang gao tie tan la ni ni shi de ni bao de jiao na ji zai yu ji zhe zhe mu jia la yu ji chu mu shen de knowledge tian na ji. It's very very hard to find people to commit. Na da shi na ji guo yang de jia de um hong yu chap lai na ji ya jiao an tie jiao tian na mu commit wo la la especially la ba gu tian na certain weeks. <coughs> I go on vacation or I go out of town. Then I go on vacation or I go out of town. 
เอ่อเราตนะหัวญาติซองนะญาติหัวญาติซองให้เจอ่าชิมอลเลยถึงละปากูเลยเท่านั้นนะโซอย่าเป็นยิงเฟสเชอร์ชาร์จเลยเท่
so, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening uh, just to spread your wisdom, your experience about visual media in the church. We thank you so much for your time. Yeah, and ซีดอนเจอคันเดอร์เอ่อไซมัวเทียคือเทียไมจ่าวอโจดอนเนชดอคอวอนเนตอเอ่อชีชิเฮอร์เดอเนลุนเนงดอกเกงกอลอมอป